Hello, hello, happy Thursday. <laughs> Silka here, Heart for Art. I teach people step by step how to paint online and in my studio. Welcome to this week's episode of Hearty Tips with Silka. That's me. Um, today I am going to show you a super quick, easy trick uh, to save you paint and save you hassle. Now, if you've ever been in the middle of painting something, uh, but you're called away or have to stop or whatever for whatever reason time you've got another appointment whatever reason and you want to come back later and paint i'm going to show you how you can stop your paint drying out so that you can come back later and reuse it and not waste it you can come back one day later a week later heaps later um so you will save money on paint and you will save hassle of having to put your paint out all the time yay now the reason i'm sharing this with you today is because if you saw last night's live i had a chat with inga and she was sharing with us how why she likes painting and some of the things she gets frustrated by and she mentioned the hassle of having to pack up and you know pack up and get stuff out again every time if she hasn't finished a painting um, and that reminded me um, of my quick little tip of how to just make it a little bit simpler and a little bit easier if you haven't finished your painting and you want to come back to it. Um, now Inga was painting Island Bay with me online recently and she had to go to work before the virtual paint party was finished so she wanted to just be able to somehow come back to her painting really quickly later when she got home without her paint having dried up. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how to do that today. Um, type type ug if you hate waste. Type a double ug if you hate wasting paint. Um, now if you watched yesterday, you will already know the answer to this question of of how to stop your paint drying out between paintings if you need to go away for a little bit. But the simple answer is cover and refrigerate. And you're like, what now? <laughs> Seriously though, um, if you're using a palette like this or something, um, you basically just use a bit of a lifter um, and to and then cover it in Glad Wrap. All right. Now here's one I've prepared earlier. Now I'm using cut up toilet rolls. All right. So here's one I prepared earlier. So you can see my little toilet roll in there, and I've just popped mine in a, in a Ziploc bag, and it keeps the plastic off the paint and pop that in the fridge and honestly it will last weeks it lasts weeks like you just put it on the palette easy as you can wrap it in glad wrap as well um if you don't want to waste a ziploc bag because you do occasionally get a bit, bit of paint on it um but that's it's just like you know the little lifter things they put in the pizza boxes it's just like that it just lifts it all up and keeps the paint off and you pop that in the fridge and it's good to go for ages um so yeah, easy as. Now, if you're using an ice cream lid, you, you probably only need one. Like I said, I use a toilet roll and I just cut it to a whatever height I want, pop that somewhere where there isn't paint, and then cover it in Glad Wrap or um, put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, it can be easier if you're painting on like a plate with a small raised edge or even a Tupperware container, a nice flat Tupperware container. You can put your paint in there. And then if you know you need to sneak off somewhere or even away for a week or a weekend pop the lid on pop it in the fridge and as long as it's airtight it'll last for ages so you don't waste paint and then next time when you come back you just have to get it out oh look paints are ready nice and quick easy as um i actually also use ice cube trays here's some i've used earlier actually i've got some real i've got all the nice colors look at all the pretty colors that i've used um, paint ice cube trays. Did I just call them paint cube trays? Because <laughs> I use them more for paint than I do for ice cubes. <laughs> um, but ice cube tray trays are perfect because they will slot right into a Ziploc box. You don't need a, 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 a Ziploc bag rather. You don't need any lifters and you just put it in the fridge. If your paint's still wet, put it in the fridge. Come back an hour or two later, take it out, it's still fine. Come back a day or two, a week or two later. As long as it's airtight and in the fridge, it will last. Um, so yeah, get yourself some cheap painting palettes. Um, you can use the little round ones as well. Um, they might need a bit of a lifter in the middle, so you just cut a little bit of toilet roll holder and then pop that in a Ziploc bag as well. I've even got little ones. I, I found these little ones. 
like teeny tiny little ones. I mean, I've cut this one in half. Um, it was a bigger ice cube tray, like heaps bigger. And I just cut it in half. And then it will fit into a little Ziploc bag. Occasionally, um, if I'm feeling energetic, I will also suck the air out of it and that will keep it tight, um, airtight and your paint wet for ages and ages. Um, so yeah, ice cube trays. Um, winning combo, absolute ultimate, is an ice cream tray with a lid. I, I previewed this on Facebook last night. So... Um, if you can get one with a lid, super easy. You can literally just paint with it for weeks and just keep popping it back in the fridge. Put your lid back on um, and, you know, you've got your paints ready to go. You don't have to keep putting new paint out all the time. You've got it ready to go. When you're finished, when you need to sneak away, pop the lid back on, pop it back in the fridge um, and you're all good to go. Now these you can get, um, I've seen them at the supermarket, I've seen them at the warehouse, your Emporium style shops. Um, uh, what is it, Pete's Emporium here and Uncle Bill's Whangarei, it's Arthur's Emporium but any sort of Emporium shop or um, you know, warehouse stationery or anywhere you can buy ice cube trays essentially, find one with a lid and you're winning, yes, I've got several of them, but do remember to tell your family, especially if your kids, uh, that it's not food they might think it's like yummy lollies or a fancy new dressing or something make sure to tell them it's not food um now i actually when i was talking to inga yesterday i remembered that there was one that had made its way right to the back of my fridge and it's been there for about a year um actually there's two there were two there but remarkably it's been in the fridge for about a year it's got tomato sauce on the lid that'll be my brother he loves his tomato sauce but check this out look it's still totally fluid totally fluid I can still paint with this okay now I've got paint on myself <laughs> but it's like this has been honestly it's been there for about a year and it's still good to use so if you want to paint see look still good if you want to paint and you don't want to waste paint you don't want to have to keep cleaning up your paint palettes or your trays or whatever um, or you know you're not going to get finished halfway through a painting and you don't want to waste paint because it dries up ice cube trays if you haven't got an ice cube tray, do the Ziploc bag thing, you know, with a little one, Ziploc bag, um, or the big thing, and it's totally still usable, um, you know, so if you know you you need, you know, that you need to stop before you're going to be able to finish, I've got paint on myself now, um, and you do want to come back later, like Inga, she was halfway through painting Island Bay, but she had to go and do a work, work thing, and she wanted to come back later, but all the paint was dried up when she got back, and it's a waste of paint. All you got to do is cover and refrigerate. Cover and refrigerate, easy. Um, if you haven't got an ice cube tray, a little bit of toilet roll holder, just cut it down to size to keep the plastic off your paint palette, um, and that will, and then pop it in the fridge. Yay! It does look like a tasty salad treat or something though. Um, but yeah, it's it's so simple. Cover and refrigerate easy as um, so what I talked to you today was just a super easy trick to save you paint and save you hassle basically save your paint drying out save you wasting it save you having to clean clean your paint palettes actually there's another thing I was going to show you today as well if you're ever in those emporium shops or the two dollar shops or even like farmers or anywhere they have makeup and lipstick I came across these this is a lipstick display thing okay can you imagine each of these holes has one lipstick in it all the different colors and I am constantly on the lookout for these whenever I see a lipstick stand I look for one that's only got like 10 of them left and I just ask them hey that's almost empty can I have it and I've never had anyone say no but they are perfect when you want lots of colors um, I've got several of them I love these and they nice and easy into a ziploc bag as well so if you've got all if you've mixed all your colors so I, I did a bit of color mixing here and mixed all my own shades um, and you know if you haven't got a million shades and you want to keep those mixed shades for next time cover it put glad wrap on it these are nice and deep so it'll cover it and pop it in the fridge um, but yes lipstick it's a lipstick display thingy you know all the lipsticks in it 
cool, eh? I don't know, I can't remember what this one was. I think this may have been an eyeshadow one. It's not as deep, and I've actually cleaned this one once or twice and reused it. It's not as deep, but same effect. So check your makeup stands. If you're wearing makeup anyway, while you're shopping, see if they'll give you the trays for paint palettes. They're awesome. And they go nice and easily into Ziploc bags and fridges. Um, so yes, gave you lots of nice easy tips on how to save your paint and different paint palettes to use as well. Um, just make sure you have a lifter. If you're using a flat palette, just put anything in, anything round, anything small, that'll just lift that plastic off and stop it touching your paint because your paint's going to stay wet. Um, but and, and I use my toilet rolls. You're chucking them out anyway, so actually you can grow seedlings in them as well. Fill them with dirt put seedlings in them and then once the seedlings sprouted you put it straight in your garden and it biodegrades whole aside but good toilet rolls are good for lots of things but yes painting as well um and cover with glad wrap or ziploc bags um it's easier on something that has a bit of a raised edge a little bit of a raised edge if you can get it um like a tupperware then you can just pop the lid on you know easy or your ice cube trays they're nice and handy if you can get an ice cube tray with the lid you are just laughing all the way to your finished masterpiece yay um and yeah so that's my hearty tip for today how to stop your paint drying out if you want to reuse it later or you don't want to waste what's on there and you don't want to hassle of putting it back in the in the tube or the bottle cover and refrigerate nice and easy cool and i also just wanted to remind you today that um i will eventually put this on my blog as a as you know as a little tip for you to find later um but there's loads of other stuff there there's loads of handy tips i get people asking me all the time what brushes should i buy what paint colors should i buy how do i do shading um how do i create depth uh, actually I'm going to do one on cleaning your brushes as well soon but there's even one there about what types of brushes to get there's loads of useful stuff on my website and it's all free you can all just go 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 blog to your heart's content and learn all sorts of handy little painting tips so just remind you on my website go there heartforart.co.nz and in the menu look for the blog and you'll see them all there there's free painting tutorials there as well so there's a kingfisher and a sunset and a I don't remember there's a rainbow lots of stuff and i put new ones there as well so um, make sure to subscribe to my mailing list if you don't want to miss any because i will always let you know when there's new stuff so while you're on the website uh at the top i think it's at the top of the website there's a subscribe and win um, and you'll go on my mailing list and you'll hear about all the new tips that i have all the time free tutorials new events new paintings did you see it did you see it there's a new painting i just loaded it <laughs> sunflowers um, but yes sign up to my mailing list and you'll be the first to know uh, when all that stuff is there um, and of course if you're following me on Facebook uh, I've mentioned this before Facebook is merging stuff and they're merging the like and the, the follow and they're basically getting rid of the like so if you only like my page when they do that you won't see me anymore I'll miss you so make sure to follow be following and not liking I mean, you can like and follow, but make sure you're following so you don't miss anything. And if you're watching on YouTube, um, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and you'll see all the new stuff as well. But yes, the best way to get it all is to sign up to my mailing list. But I hope that's been useful today. Happy shopping, finding your magic paint cube trays, as I call it. Because <laughs> it's more useful for paint than ice. Although, you know, if I have people over a drink, drink gin, then that's good too. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. I hope that has been helpful. And please do message me or put a comment below if there's any other questions you might have about painting or anything that you're struggling with or just can't figure out or confused about anything. Anything to do with painting that um, I might be able to help you with, pop it in the comments or send me a PM, DM, email, pigeon, whatever works. Um, yeah. Um, um, and if you'd like to create a painting with me make sure to pop over to my website as well check out my upcoming virtual and studio paint parties uh, and I've got on-demand painting tutorials on my website as well there's loads of fun easy ones including the new one yes there's a virtual and a studio one of that 
Uh, loads of fun easy ones, loads of helpful tips online, in studio, wherever. So pop over to my website and just have a browse, check it all out. So yes, I hope that's been useful. And do let me know if there's anything else that you might want some help with. And I'm more than happy to create a hearty tip to answer your question. Um, all right, so I'm off to have some dinner now. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your week and enjoy the long weekend coming up if you're in New Zealand. Um, and I will see you with a new hearty tip next week. If you want, if you want me to answer something by next week, flick me an email and I'll or a message or whatever, and I'll cover it. All right. Hope that's helped. Go find your ice cube trays, paint cube trays. Happy painting, everyone. Mwah. See you. All.